Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching us. Today we will demonstrate guys how to remove and replace oxy uh, downstream oxygen sensor on BMW uh, E65, E66. We have a code P0036 which is a bad heater uh, oxygen sensor, okay. Uh, bank 1 oxygen sensor 2, bank 1 is, uh, is on this side right here guys. And uh, oxygen 2, uh, that's the downstream sensor. So that's a replacement one, guys. And what are we gonna do? It's not original, made by Bosch or BMW. Even the BMWs are made by Bosch, I believe. Uh, this is one of those cheap ones. We want to see if that thing will perform, if it will be good. So we can share our information with you and let you know if that is going to fix the uh, engine light problem. So stay with us, we'll demonstrate how to remove it now and how to replace it guys. Make sure that you have the car safe on jack stands, always always support everything really good. Uh, it's really good to do that when the engine is cold. In our case we drove it to the shop so it will be warm but uh, you have to be super careful because otherwise you can seriously burn yourself. That exhaust and catalytic converter could be extremely hot. So always we recommend to leave it like that for a couple of hours and uh, do the job after that. So now we need to get an 8mm socket guys and we need to remove, there is uh, I believe 4 bolts. Okay that hold that transmission cover, that way we will be able to reach the oxygen sensors. Okay, two are done. I'll hold it right here. And just one more. Okay, and that transmission cover is out guys, okay, you can see like that. Okay guys, so the oxygen sensor wire goes right there, and you need to disconnect it, it's almost impossible to show you. Okay, let me just get the light out of the way so I can aim it a little bit better. Okay, that's where it's going, you can see, and it's by the transmission side there. So you need to get it out of the spring holders. Okay, and that's where the plug is. Okay, you can see, it came out of the clip. Okay, so we'll be able to pull the wire down now. Okay, once we do that, we'll be able to disconnect it. Now we're going to get the 7 8 wrench and get it loose. And these ones, those are usually really tight, so we need to get a hammer to knock on the wrench a little bit to get it loose. Alright guys, so we'll go ahead and disconnect it first because when we get it loose, uh, we'll actually have to turn it. Okay, so those, you need to spread those two here, okay. Those are a little bit weird. And pull it out. Okay. Okay, one side is still holding, you need to get both of them at the same time. Okay, it came out. So now what we actually can do Okay, we can get the wrench and put it on, to put it through the, through the wire on top of the oxygen sensor so it gets there better. And get it loose now. Okay, get the hammer and tap on it and you will come loose. That way you will not uh, mess it up because if you catch it with that stuff it might you might mess up the sensor and not be able to remove it, so you have to use the whole full size wrench. So we'll go ahead and remove it now guys. Just unscrew it by hand. 
That's why you need to disconnect the wire first so you can pull it out otherwise it will twist too much and this is the oxygen sensor right here. So this is the new sensor guys right here. We're going to install it. It's good to uh, put a little bit of anti seize on the thread sometimes people say. We're not going to do that. As you can see we don't have any right now. So just get it tight first okay to make sure that the cable is not wrinkled, wrinkled anywhere okay and you need to make sure you get it tight really good so it doesn't leak okay all we have to do now guys is uh, connect your wire okay it just goes only one way so you need to push it in until it locks really good Okay, that's it right there. And we'll need to install stuff with where it's supposed to stay there by the transmission. And we'll see if it works. Alright guys, so this is the old one as you can see. Drove it quite a bit. Okay, and no engine light on. Which is okay, I'm sorry for the shaking. Which is awesome. We're going to go to the live data quick here and check if the oxygen sensor too. Bank one sensor two works good. Okay, let's check it quick. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, so this is this is sensor two right here. So 0.48 volts, okay. 0.52, so it goes up and down. The optimum. It should stay uh, when everything is balanced. Uh, you'll notice that it will go to 0.45. Uh, that's when that's when everything is really balanced. So no engine light on. This one still works pretty good. Okay, we'll drive it some more, and uh, we'll see if something goes wrong. We'll put in the in the description or the comments so you know that it's not going to work. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and see you guys next time.